All right, all right. LDBC is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, I promised you guys that I would definitely, you know, talk and speak on this fight. I told you guys I would. And, uh, you know, hey, the coach is going to keep his promise, and that's just the way that is. Okay, folks, so, you know, Mackenzie Dern versus Mandy Polk. Uh, this fight pretty much went the way that I thought it would go. It went the way exactly I thought it would go. Um, one thing that I didn't expect, I didn't expect uh, Mackenzie Dern to win the fight, um, you know, using strikes. But she didn't win it by strikes, but using strikes to set up a victory. I, I didn't really see that coming. Um, Mandy Polk, she's a she's an average striker. She's not like a blazing striking talent. That That's not Mandy Polk. Mandy Polk really is rough. She's going to try to get in. On the inside, she's going to try to rough you up. She's going to try to take you down and use her, her strength advantage to try to beat you. That's that's Mandy Polk in a nutshell. Um, Mandy doesn't do one thing very well. She does a lot of different things average. So she's good. She's she's average at a lot of different things. And this is a slight step up for Mackenzie Dern. It, it's slightly a step up. It's not like an opponent. You can be like, oh, okay, well, who wins the fight? Okay. I mean, I think people kind of knew. Um, who was going to win the fight. Mandy Polk, actually, she had a chance. She could have won this fight. If Mandy Polk even had a, a remote, any kind of jab or any kind of striking awareness, any kind of stand-up, any kind of boxing ability, Mandy Polk could have won this fight. And I'm not going to particularly rag on Mackenzie during most of this video. I'm just, you know, Pat Militich, God bless him. You know, he's convinced. <laughs> Pat Militich is convinced that this is the future. You can't tell him different. Uh, you know, God bless Pat. Pat Militich is a character. I, I just, I find him comical. Um, that That's just one word to put it at. Has Mackenzie Dern striking gotten better? Well, maybe a tad bit. A tad bit. But she was hitting Mandy Polk with every punch she threw. I mean, hell, Mackenzie Dern even closed her eyes, y'all. She closed her eyes. She looked down at the ground, closed her eyes and threw a punch, and I'll be damned, it landed. I mean, Mackenzie Dern was like, pick a boo, pick a boo. I see you, pop. How was Mandy Polk going to explain this one? And I'm not making fun of Mandy Polk. I mean, Mandy, you know, works. Well, okay, she she also is a fitness model. And I always tell fighters, you know, and I've told, I tell fighters this a lot. And I tell people, if you're going to be a fighter, you got to actually, you got you to gotta commit. You got to sell out to it completely. Like, you can't be a part-time fighter. There's no such thing. Part-time fighters, they get laid out on a stretcher. Part-time fighters get laid out. Those are the fighters you see that's got like, you know, 18 losses and, and one win. Okay, part those are the fighters you see that's getting beat up. Okay, and, you know, Mandy Polk, you can tell, like, if Mandy got with some people who could actually help, you know, her striking, Mandy Polk could actually be pretty decent. But it's like, she, it's like Mandy didn't want to commit to any offense. And basically, Mackenzie Dern just threw, did whatever she wanted. I, I'm not sold yet on Mackenzie Dern. And I'm going to point a couple of things out. I'm just not sold. I'm sorry, y'all. It may seem like, oh, man, you don't like it. I'm just not sold. Like, I don't understand what so many people see. Yes, the BJJ skills on Mackenzie Dern, they're unquestionable, guys. You, you, you can't question it. But let the coach tell you. And the coach means he's going to tell you. If this girl takes a clean shot to the dome, she going to sleep. Um, guys, you heard it. If this girl takes a hit to the dome, if somebody cracks her good enough, Mackenzie Dern is going to sleep. What do you think, Mackenzie Dern? How do you think she stands up against this girl? <laughs> Sabina Mazzo. How do you think she stands up against this girl? What, what, what do you think Sabina Mazzo would do with the same opportunity? Because the openings against Mackenzie Dern are there. I guarantee you, I don't even think, I don't even think, y'all, I don't even think they let Mackenzie Dern fight Sabina Mazzo. If she fights Sabina Mazzo, she's going to sleep. I'm just telling you now. If she fight Mazzo, she's asleep. Oh, what about this girl? Lindsay Wonder Woman Williams. <laughs> I, I'm i sorry. Lindsay Wonder I, I think if she fight Lindsay Wonder Woman Williams, she's going to have a tough time. She's going to have a tough time. She's not going to be able to do that to this kind of fighter. And these are just LFA fighters. Not even in the UFC yet. What about this fighter? Jamie Thornton. I mean, she got defeated by Mazo. Got defeated by KGB Lee, but 
she actually did well against these superior level fighters. And Thornton was actually winning against Sabina Mazo until she got caught. She was winning the fight. There are some tough fighters in LFA, but I wonder if they're going to put her in there against those fighters. But what about this girl, Andrew KGB Lee? How do you think Mackenzie Dern fares against Andrew KGB Lee? I mean, guys, think about it. How do you think? Do you know that any one of these four women that I put on the screen, they could go in there and completely put Mackenzie Dern to sleep? Oh, what about these two? What about these two girls? First, what about Yoanne on Jacek? What about Yan Jacek? What do you think happens if she fights a quality striker like Yan Jacek? What about her? What about her? What about Valentina? See, listen, y'all. I'm going to tell you something, okay? I see this coming from a mile away. They're going to pad this girl with all these opponents. Not these people you see on the screen. But they're going to pad this girl, her, her whole resume. I'm telling y'all, before she get to the UFC, they're going to pad this girl's resume. And they're going to put her in there with these people that are average to below average, okay? And they, she gonna put, they're going to put them in, they're gonna put her in there with these one-dimensional fighters. But she's going to come against one of these, these opponents with, with a different set of skills. And guess what's going to happen? <laughs> you guessed it. It's this. You guessed it. <laughs> she's going to get knocked a PG-13 out. This is exactly what's going to happen. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to tell y'all. This is what's going to happen. If she fight any one of these people on the screen that's got some skill set. But okay. Y'all going to see, some of y'all going to look at this video. You're going to get upset. You're going to get mad. You're going to say whatever. I, and I know you are. But then when this comes to, I'm going to set back. I'm going to set back. I'm going to keep making these videos. But when this comes to fruition, because I want to point something out. I, you know, do y'all see this this line where I have this line drawn in her fit? She's opening up for a punch. Okay, this is her throwing a punch. Folks, you know if she do that against a high-level striker like a Joanna Jan Jacek, like a Sabina Mazo. She do that against Wendy, I mean, uh, uh, Lindsey Williams. If she do that against Andrea KGB Lee, <laughs> she going to sleep. And that, people, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris, and I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.